All right, what's going on friends? In this video, I'm gonna be going over three different things to try to help you clear up your condensate line on your split unit air conditioner if it's dripping all over your floors in your house. Uh, some of these things you might not have, some of these things you might have, so hopefully one of these things will help you or maybe you can even try all three of them. Now, I showed you this in the last video, so this would be one thing that you could try to use, this little split unit pressure washer. So I'll have this down in the description. now. If you do click on that and you can't find it in that link, if you just search for this unit, which it is called a port a blaster. So if you look that up, they sell at different places. So, but I'll have the link down in the description. And I will also have these flow tabs down there. Once you do get this cleared out and get your clog fixed, I recommend maybe to try to put one of these down in your condensate tray where all your all the water drips into in your air conditioner. I'll show you where to put one of these. Another thing maybe nice to have would be some simple green. And I would probably mix this up a little stronger than I normally use in my cleaning videos. If you're trying to clean out that tube, maybe just 50% water and 50% of the simple green. And you could also try to use a air compressor and you could also try to use a shop vac. Now, if you're gonna use your shop vac, this would probably be your main tool that will probably help you unclog that condensate line so it'll, you can hopefully get it cleared out and it'll start dripping like it should be dripping outside your house. I would recommend taking your filter out and cleaning it out like mine. That way when you do clear your tube, you can maybe look in this and see how much junk that you pulled out of there. And hopefully that'll make you feel a little better than knowing that you got that cleared out. All right, All right. first thing I think you could try without doing anything else if you want now, I recommend you should probably do a couple of these steps, but if you don't want to get into your air conditioner and you want to try to hopefully just get it to stop leaking, I recommend, like I said, get maybe a shop vac, or if you have a smaller shop vac, that would probably be totally fine also. But now I have this end on mine. It's just a nice little round end, and I can take my condensate line, which 99% of the time your condensate line is just going to be on the other side of the wall from your air conditioner. And so I could just take this, stick that in there like that. Now that's not 100% perfect seal, which I think is fine because I don't think my shop vac is so strong. I don't really know if it'd be a good idea if that was like perfectly sealed on there. So put that on there, turn it on. Maybe just suck it out like that a few times and you've seen how I was just taking my hands and making a good seal and then let go, put a good seal, then let go. Hopefully that'll unclog whatever's in there. Like I said, if you clean yours out and you'll be able to look in there, you'll be able to see if there's a bunch of black gook. Maybe, maybe it started getting molded up inside your condensate tube. All right, you can try that first. Then we'll go back inside and I'll take my cover off and I'll show you a little bit what you maybe you can be looking at. Another thing, not to give you some bad news, but if this is leaking inside your house, I would say your 99% your air conditioner is going to need cleaned. Now I also have two videos on how I clean my ductless mini split. One of them I'm using that pressure washer and one I'm just tearing everything apart. And I'll put a link to them at the end of this video and maybe down here in the description also of this video. So once you get this clogged free, I recommend watching one of them videos and giving your air conditioner a good cleaning or call maybe call your AC repairman and see if he can come clean it. But I just want to warn you, they're probably going to charge you a lot of money to clean your air conditioner. It's not really that hard. I go over it step by step. So just watch that video and clean it out. All right, next step is we're going to get inside your air conditioner. So you're probably going to need like a Phillips screwdriver and a flat tip screwdriver. And our first step is we're going to turn this off and you should probably turn your breaker off also because I'm going to show you dumping some cleaner down in that condensate drip pan and maybe just trying to blow that out with that pressure washer that I have. And you don't want to have any electricity in here. So we're going to turn this off. All right, I have just like a little bowl or get yourself a little dish so you can put your, your couple screws and a couple little covers you're going to take off in there so you don't lose them. On mine, now if you have a bigger unit, your unit might have three screws, but on mine there's a screw here and a screw here we got to take out. And there's two little covers. You're just going to stick your screwdriver up in behind it and just turn it. It comes, should come off really simple. It's real easy to get that off. 
put that in your container. Take off the other one. Now, if you have a different type of air conditioner, this is also probably gonna work. You just have to see where your screws are at. Your covers might be a little different. I'll just take them two screws out. Put them in your dish. You could pull your filters out while you're at this and clean your filters out. If you're not doing this every month, you, this is another thing you should be doing is cleaning these every month. Just take these and put these in behind your spigot and blow the water. I recommend blowing the water through it this way, not through it this way, because then you're going to be blowing the dirt right back through it. I talk about this in my cleaning videos, so before you start trying to take your cover off, we got to take these, your two little louvers off here. There's a, a thing here in the middle you got to push to the right, one on the left, push it to the right, and then that pops right off. And set them aside, and then take the other one off, push that one to the right, this one to the right, and it will pop right off there. There we go. If you hear that noise, that's just my wife cooking. But this, all right, now your, your cover right up here at the top, there's, on mine, there's four little tabs. If you're having trouble getting that off, you might have to just push down a little bit. When you have that up there like this, you might stick your other hand up there and push down a little bit. But it should kind of pop off pretty simple. Now this right here is your condensate drip pan. Now you, you could also from here just take some of that cleaner, dump some down in there and keep trying to suck that through with your shop vac. And that may clear your clog. But we can also get inside there and look. All right, next step is I want to get this condensate drip pan off so we can look down inside that tube and see if maybe that's right it might be your clog might be right at the beginning where that tube's connected but we got to take this little motor off right here this is the motor that makes your louvers go up and down all right so there's a screw right there and there is a screw back in there there's this little tab right here you can push to the right and this thing here will pop down so we're just going to be careful this will all be hanging here when we get this off so we just got to take them two little screws out Probably actually even easier if you just use a little screwdriver. All right, after them two screws, this piece should just pull right out. Just let that hang there real gently. It shouldn't hurt that, it's pretty light. Now you can see your tube better back in there. Now I wanna take this whole drip pan down. And the only thing that's gonna be holding this on will be the tube. So there's a little, couple little, you'll see little tabs here we can pull out on. Like pull out on this one, it should pop out. Pull out on this one, it'll pop down. And then the one on the left. Now the hardest part here seems to be always on this right hand side. But it should pop out of there. Ah, there we go. I'll be careful when you take that off, there still might be some water in there. All right. All right, like I said, my drain tube is connected to the right-hand side. So right in there will be where my drain tube is. And mine looks nice and clear. Yeah, now you could go back outside, turn your shop vac back on, and you could be trying to blow maybe in, blow in this with your air compressor, or like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to blow some water in there with this little air, or with my little pressure washer that I got. So let me go turn on my shop vac and get some suction in there. And then I'll blow some water through there. And then we're gonna put this back up and I'll show you where I wanna put these little tabs that I bought. All right, you can definitely hear it sucking. Now I'm gonna take my pressure washer and I'm gonna, to... ooh, that's loud. I'm gonna take my pressure washer and I'm gonna shoot some water down in that tube to try to break that clog up. Now yours probably ain't gonna be that loud if it's clogged. Now I'm gonna put this drip pan back in place. First, I'm gonna take one of these tabs. If you did end up purchasing them tabs, I put it up on end like this. All right, I had my tab like that. I took my knife, 
and I put my knife on it like that while I was on a cutting board and I just pounded on it like that with my hand and then eventually it broke in half and then then I took half of it and I pounded on that and broke it in half. I'm gonna put one of these one of these little quarter pieces all the way on the left side I'm gonna put one down in here because I don't think I can stick them here in the center. All right, to show you how to put this thing, this drip pan back up, there's a little, little lip right there, a little plastic lip right here on the right, and there's a little plastic lip here on the left, okay? And you can see here in the back of this, this little plastic piece is gonna go like to the left-hand side of that one and then to the right-hand side of that one for that little plastic piece there on the back. When I slide that up in there, I should be able to slide that back up in there. Like and once you get it up in there, you should be able to pop this. Pop these little tabs up in there. There you go. There, like that. And there should be, you should see that little white tab sticking out. You'll know that's seated correctly. Now we gotta put our motor back in. And this will only go one way. You can't, it won't fit in there if you try to put it backwards. Like the, this one is a little bit bigger. The bigger one goes out this way. And just put the two little screws in, the other screw in, just pop that back up in. And if you accidentally broke your little tab here, it's not that big a deal. Just take a little piece of tape and I tape it up right here. Help hold that up in there. Mine's not broke, but I do have my other one. It's broke there. All right, now I have a cleaning tab on the left. Now I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna turn that shop back on one more time. I'm gonna dump some of this simple green that I have mixed up here with 50% simple green and 50% water. All right, after you got done dumping your simple green in there and sucking that out with your shop vac, you can take a piece of one of them cleaning tabs, either like a quarter, if you think you can fit half of it in there, and just, I'm gonna put it over here all the way on the left-hand side, just here on the left-hand side. All you gotta do is pull out on that tab that way. Now, if your hose, if your hose is hooked here on the left-hand side, maybe you'll wanna put it closer to the right-hand side. I just don't wanna clog up that hose. Pull out on that, I can stick that down in there. Make sure when you put them little cleaning tabs in, you push them way to the back of that tray, like back in where that tube would be connected. Because if not, the, the evaporator is going to hit it. All right, that's about it. Now I'm going to put the cover back on and turn on my breaker and turn my air conditioner back on. Now if your air conditioner is really dirty, you might, like I say, you might want to stop right here and click on my other video and just continue cleaning your entire air conditioner. Make sure when you're putting this on, this bottom piece is up in. There we go. I always forget that. There. I'll put your two screws back in. Put the covers back over. Put your louvers back on. The small one should go on the bottom one or the one closest to the wall. It just slides over this piece on the right first. your filters back in. Turn your breaker on. And turn your AC back on. All right, well that's about it. I hope this video helped you out with getting your air conditioner to stop leaking inside your house. Give this video a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a hopefully cool summer and where it's not dripping all over your floor.